we get down with Dracula up next on Halloween. <laughs> Halloween, where we take a look at those spooky spooksters, the main monsters, and their movies. Ah, the disco era. It was the mid to late 1970s, and disco still had an iron grip on America's throat. It wasn't until the next decade that disco finally died off making way for the awesome sound of the 1980s. Disco had found its way into every facet of entertainment, including, believe it or not, the horror genre, albeit mostly in a humorous vein. <laughs> you, you see what I did there? <laughs> there was even a disco take on Dracula, Jerry Brevios' song, Dracula Disco. <laughs> now, now that's a real hoot. I'll, I'll link to it down below there for you, because uh, seriously, you've got to hear that. It's in the tradition of Monster Mash, but done disco style. <laughs> but we're here to talk about movies, and I have two pictures for you from the disco era that prominently feature not only the disco scene, but both star none other than Dracula. That's right, Dracula at the disco. <laughs> oh, First up, from 1979 is Nocturna. Good luck finding a copy of this one. I finally had to watch it on YouTube with crappy subtitles, hence the lousy quality of the stills here, but at one point, it was put out on DVD. Nocturna is a sexy young vampiress. She's living in Transylvania with her grandfather, Count Dracula. Drac isn't very happy. In order to make ends meet, Castle Dracula has been turned into a hotel. He doesn't even have his own fangs anymore. He has to use dentures. And the lovely Nocturna's unhappy too. She's lonely and wants to be more than a vampiress. Having taken a liking to disco music when a disco band plays the hotel, she meets a young disco musician. Naturally, they fall in love and she discovers that disco music and dancing make her feel alive and she begins to cast a reflection and everything. Against her grandfather's wishes, she follows her lover to New York City and the disco scene. In our cast, Nye Bonet stars as Nocturna. She had a short run in low-budget films like this one. She was a Vegas entertainer who helped produce this picture herself, raising $300,000. A hundred grand of that went towards the music. Legendary actor John Carradine plays Count Dracula, wearing pretty much the same costume he wore in 1945's House of Dracula. And we also have Yvonne De Carlo. that's right, Lily Munster is here as Nocturna's aunt, Jug Julia Vane. <laughs> we also have Anthony Hamilton as the love interest. He went on to star in the TV series Cover Up and the 1980s revival of Mission Impossible. One fun fact about this movie is that the city of New York opened a chamber in the Brooklyn Bridge that had been sealed up for a century. They cleaned it out and allowed the filmmakers to use it for some shots. And Nocturna's nude bath scene. Yes, there is one, and it's delightful. <laughs> it, uh, it was done inside a church. <laughs> A real church! They kept that on the down low and connived to make sure the church officials were not around when they shot those scenes. <laughs> 
and the disco featured in the movie, the Starship Discovery One Disco, was a real venue. It launched in 1977 as a rival to the more famous Studio 54, but it closed up just two years later, just before Nocturna was released. A sign of changing times, to be sure. And the movie sports a theme song by none other than Gloria Gaynor, a song she did only as a favor for her manager. At the time, she thought the song was already outdated and had lousy lyrics. Sounds pretty good, though. So this one is really low budget and really dopey, but still, it's just a lot of fun. Bonet is fine, and although she's no great actress, she's personable and makes her character likable. I think Nocturna is worth seeing at least once, if you can find a copy. Oh, man, Nocturna could put the bite on me anytime. <laughs> So, a vampire leaves home, heads to New York City, finds true love, and tears up the dance floor doing disco. Now, if that sounds familiar, it should, because it has some of the same story elements as our next picture, the more famous Love at First Bite, also from 1979. This is a vastly superior film by just about every metric, except for Nocturna's measurements. <laughs> in this one, Count Dracula and his servant Renfield are dispossessed of Castle Dracula by the communist government and have to leave Transylvania, so they hop a flight to New York. See, Drac has fallen in love with a sexy chick who's a fashion model working in the Big Apple. So Drac wants to hook up with her for eternity. Dracula has to face the modern world as well as a relative of his old arch nemesis, Von Helsing. Comedy ensues. In our cast, George Hamilton is Count Dracula. Artie Johnson from Laugh-In is Renfield. Susan St. James plays the fashion model and Richard Benjamin from Quark plays the Van Helsing descendant. Gotta say, this one is still laugh out loud funny. It's a perfect send up of the Dracula mythos and previous Dracula movies. And you can tell it was made with love. Hamilton is incredible. His facial expressions sell everything. Sometimes it's just the way he raises an eyebrow. You can't help but laugh. Artie Johnson does a good Dwight Fry impression as Renfield, and Richard Benjamin just takes the cake here, stealing every scene he can get his hands on. We also have Dick Sean as a police detective. That's right, the guy who was the voice of Snow Miser, he's in this. And also featured are both Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson. Sherman Helmsley plays a preacher, something he did again later in the sitcom Amen. And Isabel Sanford, Louise Jefferson, Wheezy herself, plays a judge. And we get to see Drac on the dance floor, the iconic disco theme song, I Love the Nightlife which Drac dances to, had to be cut or replaced on several home video releases and TV showings due to rights issues, but Shout Factory sorted all that out with their Blu-ray disc, so it's on that one. And speaking of that disco dance, Hamilton and St. James are really dancing in that scene. They didn't use doubles, it's really them. This movie was a big hit, and no wonder. It's still funny even today, well worth a watch. With you, never a quickie, always a longie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so there you have it, Dracula at the disco. Get down, you funky vampire, get down. Join me next time as Halloween continues. Ha 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 ha!